Chinese pastor said, Today I would like to share with you the culture of the kingdom. And first of all, I would like you to understand what does it mean when we say culture. Culture simply means the way of life. The way of life. Every human being, every human being was born into a culture. We are born into a culture. Culture has affected our lives positively or negatively. Culture influences everything we do. It, 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 it shows in our daily routines, in, the, in, in our existence. Culture forms our, our, our language, our art, our, our dress, the way we talk, and so on. You see that? So, culture simply means the way of, of life. Simply means the way of life. And Jesus said in, in John chapter 14 verse 6, he said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. So you see that. So if culture is the way of life and Jesus said, I am the way of life, then he is our culture. Every child of God has been brought or born into God's culture the culture of the kingdom and Jesus Christ is the way of life. He is the culture of the kingdom. When you read Colossians chapter 3 verse uh, uh, Colossians chapter 3 verse 4 he says Christ who is our life. When Christ who is our life appears we shall appear with him. You see that? So he is our culture. We have been brought, we have been translated from one kingdom to another. Bible says, giving thanks unto the Father who hath translated us from the kingdom of darkness to his marvelous light in the saint. We've been translated from one kingdom culture to another kingdom, which is the kingdom of God. Bible says, in him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being, which, which precisely is culture. You see that? That is culture. So Christ is my culture. He is my life. He is my food I eat. He is the way I talk. He is the way I dress. I dress the way I dress because of Him. I talk the way I talk because of Him. I walk the way I walk because of Christ. He is my example. He is my life. In Him I move. In Him I live. I live because of Him. Paul said, It is not I that live, but Christ that liveth in me. You see that? So, Christ is the way of life. He is the way of life. He is my culture. It is vitally important. As, ch as children of God, we don't talk the way the worldly people talk. We talk different. Our language is different. My language has na is now the word of God. Yes, when you and I are born into our family cultures, we are brought up with our individual language. My language is different from the way you speak. You see that? Uh -huh. So, in this kingdom, we have one language, which is the Word of God. The Word of God is our language. And Jesus Christ is the Word of God. You see that? The Word that created the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that is in it. So, now that we've been born into a new kingdom, we've been brought into the kingdom of God. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away. All things have become new. You see that? You are born again. You are not the same as you used to be in your, in your, in, in, in your old culture. You see that? You have been born into the kingdom of God with its new culture. So therefore we have to adopt the culture kingdom. And if you and I will live a successful life, 
and be productive in this kingdom, we have to understand the culture of this kingdom. So when Nebuchadnezzar, uh, when um, Nicodemus came to Jesus in the night and um, in their conversation Jesus said one you must be born again you see that so it is vitally important to understand who we are now that you are born again we need to understand who we are I am a Ghanaian, I'm a Corsa, I'm a Zulu, I'm a Nigerian, I behave as Nigerian, I'm a Ghanaian, I behave as a Ghanaian, you see that, because I was born in Ghana, therefore we are also, therefore we need to understand being born again. We need to understand the culture of being born again. It is vitally important to understand that for one to be a child of God, he must be born again. So I'm driving you to the culture of being born again. It is vitally important for us to understand the culture of being born again. Without being born again, you cannot be a child of God. You cannot be a child of God without being born again. When you read John chapter 3, verse 6. Nicodemus came to, he was a ruler. He came to Christ. And asked the Lord questions. Okay, so now we're going to, for you to understand... Who you are in the kingdom of God, you need to understand how the culture, how we function in this culture, how we function, the way we do things, the way we talk, the way we dance, the way we walk. You see that? The way we walk and the way we become productive, the way we do things in the kingdom. So, this is what I would like to share with you today. And uh, I would like to pray with you. I would like to pray with you. I would like to pray with you. Um, if you are not born again, I would like you to share the sinner's prayer with me. Say, Dear Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again by God. I welcome you into my life. Forgive me of my sins. Today, I confess that I'm born again. Today, I confess that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my personal Savior. If you have any kind of sickness, any disease, I would like to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my viewers, anyone who is sick of any kind of ailment, I command the blindness to go. I rebuke that disease to go. I command your blood to be cleansed from any kind of sickness and disease. Be healed in your body. Be cleansed in your blood. If you are not a whatever you cannot do, begin to do it right now. Every pain in your body, if you cannot walk, begin to walk. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. The numbers are on the screen. We would like to hear your testimony. We would like to know what the Lord has done for you. We would like to know the word you have heard, how it has blessed you. Share with us your testimony. And keep be, keep yourself in the atmosphere, atmosphere for rest. For God has created this atmosphere that you may enjoy his rest. For they who have entered into his rest have ceased from struggles. God bless you. Amen.